Baby, if you want to drink a banana red, oh, y'all know banana red? Yes. <laughs> but think about, look, y'all, think about all that we were saying about how this year was going, 2019 and the rest of these were like, 2020, it's going to be bomb. We're going to know, every, this is going to be, this year going to be the best. Everybody going to have clear vision. Shoot. We were all out in Baltimore doing the shoot at the beginning of this year, getting ready for business. Like, yes, yes, yes. And then it was like, oh, no, no, bitch. Happening. <laughs> yes, you do need yeah. to see yourself clearly. You need to see the world clearly. You need to see races clearly. You need to see your spouse, your husband, and everybody clearly. That's why my business is booming because all this togetherness is wonderful. But some of this togetherness is making people break the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That, that, that straight, straight up and uh, straight up and down. Some people are happy they are not having as many demands. But this, I mean, this is a lot because I know people who've been saying, you know, I, I am an only child. I live by myself. I am single. I remember my stepmother called me at the beginning of this, and she was like, "Oh my God, baby, baby like, how you doing? You all there by yourself?" I was like. I, I'm supposed to be. I I, so this is what I do. Like I'm, 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 I'm good by myself, and I'm well versed at being able to. I've entertained myself my entire life, so of course I miss, you know, social stimulation with being around people. But I'm talking to people all day, so it's kind of a pseudo connection. But I mean, when you really, when you really dig down and start thinking about it, I know a lot of people who've been living by themselves single women who were like i can't I, I i'm going crazy i thought i was like right because your house was really just your crash landing pad you didn't you did not you know mm -hmm. our previous lives you were out almost every day first you were out of the house for work then you come you drop your stuff you get cute you go back out for drinks or for happy hour you were out saturday and sunday so you were technically by yourself but not really you were never by yourself and so, so that's what you really, that's what people need to know. And now you're really getting to know yourself and decide, do I like me? I don't know if I like me. Yeah, I, I mean, like it's me, hard for people to spend time. I, it's, it's hard for people to learn how to spend time with themselves, especially if you're a social butterfly. Like, that's your part. You know, you like being out and about and you like talking to people to set up third. And when it's time for you just to sit down with you is a very true testament of, you honestly how you can mm -hmm. deal with yourself can mm -hmm. you deal with yourself can you deal with people not you know i'm not even gonna say hyping you up but can you deal with the non uh with the um the, the outside influence of that's how social media are. like we were talking about mm -hmm. that with the whole thing like are you okay with people not liking your pictures are you okay with you just liking your pictures are you okay with just sitting down looking like any old fucking thing and just tuning into yourself and we have become in this age specifically everything is so instant instant gratification when we're on even when we're on here like we we want people to engage us we want people to look at see what we're talking about and if they don't it's like oh well you know well, what am i doing wrong what should mm -hmm. i do way this that and the other yeah. Yeah. and this is a cycle that is it can be detrimental for people that don't have that outward um personality i don't know the word i'm trying to use y'all help me out um uh, well, are extroverted extroverted exactly people that aren't extroverted and yeah. are glued to this thing that we're watching hey guys it's your girl shayla here go to facebook and instagram and like salon talk dmv don't forget to like and subscribe also go to our youtube channel at salon talk dmv and hit that notification button so that you guys can get all of our new uh content and see what we got going on see all the opinions of the ladies at salon talk dmv at s-a-l-o-n 
T-A-L-K-D-M-B. Salon Talk DMV. See you guys later. That we're watching. It was one thing to watch TV, and that was the first thing, right? Oh my God, TV is mm -hmm. ruining people's brains, and you know, yeah, disconnect this, that, and the other. But when we got to be able to get on screen with one another and actually connect with each other's ideas yeah. and thoughts and opinions, it opened up a whole brand new goddamn can of worms, which I believe at the basis of it was supposed to be a good thing. We were just trying to share each other's thoughts and be like, yes, what you're doing is great, this, that, and the other. But it has gotten into a whole nother different world where we have, at one point in time, and y'all y'all can stop me at any time if, 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 I'm, if I'm rambling, but at one point in time, you know, differences in opinion have been differences in opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Democrat, Republican, and I'm not going to go super political. However, Democrat and Republicans have been living amongst each other since, you know, it, it right. started. And we never had an opinion four years ago. And I'm going to even say eight years ago uh, with, uh, with President Obama. You weren't not talking to people because they were Republican or Democrat. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, yeah, that's how you feel. Like, oh, I don't see your views, but I'm not canceling you. We had this cancel society now, and don't get me wrong, and I, Renita, I, I, see, I, I see you trying to say something, but don't get me wrong, because I always straddle the fence where I'm trying to understand both sides of it. The climate that we're in now, there's no gray area. It's either black, it's white, it's yes, it's no. And if you are for President Trump in any kind of way, and I don't even want to call him president, <laughs> Anyway, if you, if, if, you, if you support 45 in any way, even if it's not for his, what he say, you're like, oh, I hate him. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with what he say, but I fuck with his policies. You are already demonized by everybody else. And it's like, mm -mm, we can't be friends. I'm canceling you, cancel calls. I'm like, how do we get here? People just, I, I think that um, people are in a place where they're so passionate that they're not able to agree to disagree. And that's what we have to be able to do. You, you need to be able to agree to disagree because I can't, you know, uh, we talk about this often. We've talked about this before where, I mean, you know, at a time like right now, um, voting Democrat would probably be what I think would be best. But there are times that I did not agree of democratic policies as much as there or republican policies it's for me about the policies mm -hmm. that's just what it is it really has nothing to do with which side of the fence you lay on um i pretty much have been an independent my whole entire life because i want to be able to choose based off the issues and the policies there are financial policies that the democrats have that i do not agree on there are things that the Republicans agree on that, you know, that I agree with. So I don't like to have to choose, but I don't see why people are so cut and dry right now. And I'm agreeing with you, Shayla, that they can't agree to disagree. And basically you pick who you're voting on based off of what they're running on and what their issues are. And at the end of the day, most most of the time, we're choosing worse and worse off. I know they're worse and worse Let me just say that. But I'm just saying, you're choosing, you know, like they say, you know, the, the, the worst of two evils. And that's just where we are now. But not being able to agree to disagree makes the world very mean and evil. And it's not nice. And people have to understand that people think differently. Uh, and that's okay as long as they're not using that to hurt you. This is my last thing I'm going to say on this, because I know we could sit here and talk for like a whole nother, like two hours on this whole subject. My thing is, okay, yeah, policies. I'm with you, Renita. I'm on, I'm, I'm with the policy thing. And I'm just in my 41 years starting to pay way more attention to politics as far as policies are considered. But I will say that it started in the okay look let's just be real real quick racism has it ain't new it's not new we have come a long way 
as far as the country, not just blacks, not just whites, but in general, we've come a long way. However, in this particular candidacy and even going back to Barack Obama because you know y'all remember when Barack Obama was even up for election the shit that was coming online you was like whoa the monkeyness and like all the just all the racial stuff that was coming on front street was just like mm -hmm. you know in the back of your mind that some people feel that way but it, it just wasn't said amongst regular people if that makes sense it wasn't said it, on Twitter and Facebook and amongst friends that you have been, you know, how many friends you got on Facebook? I got friends with friends. I don't know these motherfuckers, but you know, you friends because of friends because of friends because of friends because of friends. And the opinions that started coming out of people's mouths is like, is that how you really feel about all of us just because a black man is about to be president? You feel like, oh my God, everything is going down because at the basis of it all, at the basis of it all, and I was still, I'm not wavering from this. At the basis of it all, and it's gotten worse in the Trump administration because let's put this out there. He is just a symptom of the disease that the country has as far as racism is considered. Okay, a concern, I should say. So him, you know, him coming out and saying this shit and this, that, and the other, and I goddamn lost my goddamn train of thought, y'all. But my point is Trump is not... He's a symptom. He's to not. Blame. He's not. No, uh, he still got some blame because anytime that you are not saying, and I'm not even saying he has to say he's against it, but you have to say we're wrong is wrong, right? Yes, I agree that you have to say that and wrong is wrong. But my thing wrong. is, his opinion is shared by other Absolute. people. Absolutely. So oh, that's it's, my point. It's, I'm sorry. It's not I found it. I found him. it. It came back. It came back. It came back. So my point that I'm trying to make is white people are so fucking afraid of being the minority they are so fucking afraid of it because we already know because studies have shown y'all and y'all melissa you know better than me and renita and at least y'all probably got better statistics than i do but y'all know they say in however many years right that the actual white aryan race is gonna be the minority because we got way more people that's integrating Mexicans and blacks and whites and blacks and whoever the fuck else and blacks and you know it's gonna be more um uh mixed races than there is an actual white race and then white people mind in my opinion and y'all can shoot me down on Twitter, Facebook, the fucking YouTube community. In my opinion, I feel that those white people that feel that way are so scared because they feel like oh shit. We've been fucking them up for so long. If they get in power, what they gonna do to us? And black people, per black people in general, don't have no. Oh, we looking like nigga. We ain't trying to fuck y'all up. We just try to do our own thing and not be persecuted for it. That's it. That's all I. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us for our virtual taping of Salon Talk DMV. Make sure that you're following us and liking us at Salon Talk DMV on IG and Facebook. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for full episodes of Salon Talk DMV. Thanks. See you guys later.